I hope this finds you doing well. Um, as I look at the calendar, I'm kind of shocked that it's already uh, uh, this video getting posted in the uh, middle of December of 2021. And uh, I hope that you've uh, seen the Lord working uh, in you and through you and further bringing about uh, your transformation in the world. Um, I don't know, over the next several weeks, I uh, into the new year, I'm going to be sharing with you some thoughts from the Sermon on the Mount. So today I want to take a look at the first few verses of chapter number six of Matthew. He says, uh, beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpets before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may be praised by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. Now remember that the, kind of the focus of this whole message uh, that Jesus is giving to these very religious people is to show them the, uh, the insufficiency of self-sufficiency, uh, to show them that the, the purpose of the law. And so uh, their religious leaders, the Pharisees, had, had developed a, a, a righteousness uh, that was based on self and not Christ. And so it was all about uh, self-exaltation to show that I'm better than you. <laughs> and they truly looked down on uh, all the people who didn't meet their standards. And so Jesus says, beware, take good caution, that when you're practicing your righteousness, that you don't do it to be seen by others. Now, we are, as the righteous people of God, to practice righteousness because that's who we are. Uh, First John, uh, he says, you know, this is how you know you're a child of the devil or a child of God. If you're a child of God, you practice righteousness and love one another. But practicing righteousness doesn't make us righteous. Practicing righteousness is an outflow of who we are. And we recognize that our righteousness is not because of what we do, but an outflow of what he has done for us, in us, and through us. And so we practice righteousness. Uh, and we should be a generous people who give to the work of God, the kingdom of God, the needy, but never in order to be seen. Never for self-exaltation. Never to draw attention to ourselves. He says the people who give and want attention, uh, who want credit for it, they've got their reward. Uh, in the world, you know, uh, I uh, went to a golf tournament and uh, every hole was a sponsor and every sponsor of every hole had the name of that person or company. And I get it, they're doing it for, for advertising. And their, their sponsorship, uh, their giving was, uh, was rewarded by the attention they draw to themselves. But he says in the kingdom, it's a different paradigm. We do practice righteousness and we should give as he prompts us and enables us. But we do this as stewards, recognizing that everything we have is already his, for we were bought with a price. We don't want to give like the hypocrites do. It's hard to imagine, but these uh, uh, religious people, when they were about to give to the needy, they would actually have people walking in front of them, blowing a trumpet, uh, either in the market or at the synagogue, uh, at the temple. Uh, they did it to receive praise from others. But he says, when you give to the needy, don't let your left hand know what your right hand doing. 
really what that means is just you live and give and go in a responsive, obedient response to the prompting of his divine presence in you. Not for your credit, not for your glory, for his. Let it be in secret because then he will give you a reward. Now, there's a reason, like even in, in the church, uh, I don't know what anybody gives on purpose. I refuse to know because I don't want it to affect me. And when I give, I try to give it uh, as privately as possible because really everything that comes through my hand, I know it's from God and for God's kingdom. And really, almost all of the giving that I get to do, whether it's helping lepers or people of poverty or pastors, my being able to participate with what God is doing in the world is the reward. I'm not giving so I can get something. I'm not giving so I can get rich. I'm just giving because it is a great joy to participate with what my Abba is doing in the world. It's for him, for the king, for the kingdom, for his glory. And that, in and of itself, is an incredible reward. So let your heart be filled with generosity. And don't be falling into the temptation of the world to give in order to seek attention or recognition, to be praised. But let all praise and glory be to him who has secured all things for us. I love you. And, you know, we're entering to a season of giving. And I hope that you will find it a joyful time to his praise. Amen. Have a good day.